this first one set the internet on fire. Twitter, oh. Twitter lost his fucking mind, man. When doesn't it though? You know. Okay. All right. So Days Gone PlayStation exclusive. It's not a PlayStation exclusive anymore. Coming to PC, okay. and everybody went fucking crazy, right? And I believe our boy Jim Ryan was saying, "He's like, hey, listen, you know, we want to build up the, our audience here, so we're gonna you're gonna see some of these games come every so often." Doesn't here's my thing. It's like if these games aren't selling anymore. Put them on PC. Go right ahead. You know, but well, that's some, that's you know. that's that's a. I mean, come on, putting that shit on PC is the perfect shot in the arm for a game that's run its course. Come on, how many people that already own the PlayStation are going to be buying these games again? Probably, I'm I'm sure people have already played the. Everybody who's going to play these these games have already played it, and if anything, they're going to be waiting until they come out on PS Plus. So, how do you get some more revenue rolling on an old ass game? That shit on PC, right? There you go. You know, and as we've talked about many, many times, PC guys are not like, eh, that game's old. I'm not going to play it. They'll fucking play it. You know? Oh, they'll be like, yeah, all right. I'll play this. I'll play this Horizon Zero Dawn, even though it runs like shit. Mm, I, think, <laughs> I, I think they fixed it now, but yeah. Oh, they um, finally fixed and it. And Sony pretty much said, it's like, yeah, this will not be the last. Like, they're going to keep coming. And I, I got something to say about that, but go ahead, Manny. I said this before, though. Yeah. They said that when Horizon Zero Dawn came out, they said there will be more titles on there. But at the same time, again, people the, the Sony fans are getting all in an uproar because of an old ass game getting thrown onto a PC. They never said they were going to be the new games. Yeah, and th want... that's a perfect segue to what I want to say because a lot of people are you know saying on both sides, right? PlayStation fanboys and Xbox are saying, "Oh, that's it. You're going to see PS5 games day one on PC." No, you won't. Now you're not going to see PC five ga PS five games on PC for a while, and I want you tech guys specifically to check me on this because if I'm wrong, because I'm thinking the SSD is going to present some hurdles. You know, like until more PC gamers have SSDs, like isn't that going to cause a problem getting those PS five games? PS four games, no problem, fine. PS five games, that's why I don't think we, you're going to see them for a good while. You know, so what, what you guys think? I don't know. That? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I mean, you know, I think that I think they'll probably be they'll probably work. They'll just probably work the way they normally do. Yeah. Also, right? I should I should also add the other reason you won't see the other reason you won't see PS5 games on um you know for a while is because there are no PS5 games right now. That's I'm gonna say reason. this. I'm, I'm yeah. gonna say this. Sony is not gonna shoot themselves in the foot by literally releasing something that they they want you on their ecosystem. Yeah. That's what they want. They're not going to release the competition on their other console on, on something on something else. Now people are going to be like, "Oh, but what about Xbox? They put it on the PC and on the Xbox." That's because they're not. They see it all as one thing. It's all one one ecosystem that you're. As long as you're buying something that's Xbox, you're in the ecosystem. Whether you own a PC or you own uh, an actual Xbox console. You're using Windows, you're in yeah, you're right using, because, because you're, you're, you're literally you're using yeah. Windows. No, and I'm glad yeah. you say that because if you buy Days Gone on PC, um, Horizon on PC, Death Stranding on PC, you're not in the PlayStation ecosystem. You're not getting trophies. None of that yeah. stuff. So, so it's a very different thing. And you know, and I'm glad you say that because a lot of people are saying like, "Oh, Xbox did it." I mean, Sony says it. No, no, very different things. You gotta understand. Microsoft primarily first is a software company right they want to sell you the software sony is a hardware company they want to sell you hardware that means they're, they're selling the console very integral to them obviously they make their their money off of sony software and all that but they want to sell you consoles so it's a very different mindset going on there so yeah that that's why i'm like no no that microsoft and x and sony are doing two different things when it comes to that like again you're in the microsoft ecosystem no matter what playstation is a little bit different and sony wants you on that ecosystem you know um, Chris, what yeah. are you going to say? No, I'm, you know, it's, you're right. It's, it's like, uh, <clears throat> Xbox is really a service now. The Series X and the Series S is just, they're offering you the way to experience the service, right? It's not about the box anymore. It's just like, um, the Microsoft Surface, right? Yeah. Microsoft can make you this tool. It's not the exclusive way to interact with a tablet. And Windows, right? You're just in the ecosystem. All the surfaces is, is their way to present it to you. But you can, you can, you can get XCloud and run on a PC. You can run on a tablet. So, 
that's different. Like like Tony said, Sony and, and especially Nintendo, they're they're making hardware. So they they want you in, in in their in their ecosystem, right? Nintendo will never be doing this, right? No, so they no way like, forget about it. But uh the the reason so Sony can get away with this is they want to ingratiate people into the ecosystem so they can you can look at these games as kind of like sacrifices where they're like, Okay, these are low sellers, but there's there's enough engagement where if we port this, people may go, Oh, you know, this was a Sony game I want to experience more of these. Okay, maybe I'll get a PlayStation, you know? Yeah. So th that's what they're hoping for. So if they release, like, Bloodborne. Bloodborne's run its course. It's a great game. It's, like, six years old. They could easily put that on P. I would, I would get that again just to see the mods people come up with, you know? <laughs> It'd be crazy. Have the hunter running around naked and shit. <laughs> Yeah, no, and I'm glad you bring that up too because um, I think there, you know, not going to be a lot of them, obviously, right? But, you know, there will be some guys that get the game on PC, right? You know, whatever. Days Gone. Days Gone 2 gets announced. And this motherfucker loved Days Gone. He's like, this is the, one of the best games I've ever played. Fuck, I don't want to wait another three years. I want to buy this shit now. Very small percentage, obviously, but that's still console sales, you know? So that could yeah. happen too. So, yeah. Uh, again, Nobody on this panel has a problem with any of this shit. Bring them, bring them to PC. No. You know, I mean, again, I don't, I have no issue with the idea of essentially just doing that sort of stuff. If, if, if they feel like they can get an extra shot on, on an arm, on, on, in the arm from a title that's sort of, that, that's already run its course, then so be it. Yeah. But again, they are not going to shoot themselves in the foot and throw, a, throw, a, throw the, the next God of War. You know, or you know, throw the next God of War on PC day and date. They're, They're not, not going to do that. Shit. They're not doing that shit. You know, they want you to be in. The, they want you to be playing that shit on PlayStation. So yeah, yeah. What about the rest of you guys? This, this is already on PC through the PS Now. Yeah, but so well, this is just separate. But this well, is like PS dedicated now, down, downloaded on your. This is an actual download. PC. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just separate, but it was already there. If people really wanted to play it on PC. They could have did that. Brett, what's up? Do I do I look like I have the serious? I'm going to say some shit. Yes. Yes. Uh, you yeah, do. yeah. Good, good, good call. Good call. Yeah. I, just, I just want to point out the weirdness. Like, we are talking about a game that got received somewhere in the mediocre range. Um, the kids call it, it was, mid these days. It was a mid game. Mid. It was a mid game. <laughs> um, that wasn't super well received generally the opinion was that it took too long to get here and it, zombies were over i don't think anybody actually crapped their pants excited over the game nobody on the panel did my boss did but like overall like maybe one out of eight gamers sample wise really cared about this so we're talking about a mid-generation game that people really didn't care about but all of a sudden it's a big fucking deal because oh it's coming to pc it's not and it's not a big deal that it's coming to pc that's that's the ridiculousness of the situation. Yeah, the PC people are like, yay, they let out a week, a week hooray. The, the only reason this is fucking news is there are people pissed that it's going to PC, which is just a ludicrous fucking situation to begin with. It shouldn't be news. Nobody should fucking yeah. care. Who gives a shit if somebody gets to play the same game that you do? Good. Why do you have to be such a fucking gatekeeper about it? I rarely even use that term because most of the time I don't give a shit. If you don't know enough about X-Men to participate in the discussion, then you don't participate in the fucking discussion. Those are rules. <laughs> but in okay. this instance, let the people play, man. But you, yeah. you missed it last week. Yeah. Were you here last week? Was he here last week when, when you were talking about who was it? It was you, you uh, Tony, talking about that. That Sony, the, the PlayStation guy, or, I mean, the Xbox guy that said he was loyal. Fuck Jim Ryan. <laughs> no, loyal he was talking. Right. No, the loyal. The, that, was, that was a dirty yeah. show. That was actually um during when we were playing the game. We, we were playing the other day, Adam, on PlayStation. You brought it up on this also. Did I bring it up? It up um, but yeah, yeah. yeah. So, question. yeah. So, so um, do you want to tell the story thing. or should it's, I? It's it's those people that yeah. are pissed though because they're being loyal on their end and they expect these companies to do the same. They're and not cheating they, on you. They're a company. They, they see it that way. Oh they my see god! It. This is it's this is from company guy. Everybody, it. everybody it always off, tells off, me like companies off. are not people. Blah 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 blah. And I understand this, and I'm the first one to be like, "Fuck that!" It's I did. Why are you loyal to a brand that you pay money to? Like, and and I, I've been accused of this, but like, here's the thing: 
I'm not loyal to a company. I don't understand loyalty. I understand being excited. I understand hope. I can understand, you know, getting in a fucking frenzy because sometimes that's fun, man. Sometimes that's half of the deal. As I've said before, like half the fun of Christmas is the two weeks before Christmas. So it's it's I I, I, I get living in the hype. It's this the, the the dark side of the internet hype that I just I don't fucking understand, man. Here's the thing. By the way, just real quick for you guys who may have missed that episode, or I think again I don't remember if we talked about an episode or we just talked yeah. about it on the show. But anyway, so um, Paris, yeah, Paris Lily, our friend from Gamer Tag Radio. By the way, shout out to Gamer Tag Radio. Sixteen years they've been doing their thing. Um, POC people, by the way, uh, some others are saying some others are the first ones. No, no, no. Gamer Tag Radio has been that shit forever. But so Paris tweeted out a picture of Miles Morales. He's like, this game's fucking awesome. I love this game, right? And then somebody replied, oh, damn, that looks cool. I wish it was on Xbox. And then somebody replied, get a PlayStation. It's like, I can't. I'm too loyal. Too loyal. I, I, I kept out of it, but I wanted to go. And Brett, I want your talk, take on this. I wanted to go in there and be like, hey, my man, is that console loyal to you? Because you know it ain't, you know? I mean, it, 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 here's the thing. It can be, but, like, you're looking at it A console's loyal to you, bro. Let me, let me explain. <laughs> okay. You could look at it from an exclusionary point of view, but that's not, not the way, like, you know, I'm on Team Xbox, so I can't blah de blah You can be loyal to a brand. If a brand delivers a quality product at a good price that serves you well, it's understandable to be like, hey, I'm, I'm loyal to this brand. Like, it, some people are Apple loyalists. You know, they... they like the lack of choice that Apple gives you in exchange for safety and sleekness and overpriced products, but they like that. And so that the, they, they're kind of loyal to that brand. It's not loyal to them as a persona. It's loyal to them as in I've been treated right by this company. So I have no reason to not go with them again. And that's, that's a thing that we all do. Like if we find like, you know, the brand of peanut butter that we like, we keep going with that peanut butter because we like it. We're loyal to that brand. Somebody's like, "Hey, you want you want some Peter Pan peanut butter?" I'm like, "Nah, man, I'm a chip guy." You know what it is, and, you know, and, and I, hold on, hold on, now, because I got, I got to follow up with Brett. I think that's more preference and loyalty. Like I, pre- like, like, like I, like I prefer Sony, but I'm not loyal to them. If they fu- if they do some dumb shit, fuck them. I'm doing something. I'm going somewhere else. You know. Well, but, yeah, but that's if they do some dumb shit. Like yeah. a lot of times when you talk about this kind of thing, you're talking about a market that's not nearly as volatile as the video game market. Like if you're buying a sofa, right? Like I bought several di- several different sofas, and I think this one's like blue steel. Like one of the best sofas I ever bought, man. I'm gonna keep buying that sofa because it's not falling apart after two years. Yeah. It's good in solid construction. It's fucking comfortable. But you would they, buy they my loyalty. You would buy a different company sofa, right? Like you're not against yeah, exactly. The idea. And that's why I say loyalty doesn't have to be exclusionary. Loyalty doesn't have to mean I don't buy something. Loyalty kind of means I do buy something. If something's good and I've been treated well, I'll buy it. If another company is good and I'm treated well, I'll buy that one too. Lo- loyalty to a brand means more benefit of the doubt often but people have kind of <laughs> twisted yeah. it to mean i can't one or the I other can't go to the other side well, yeah well, i got you. I, mean, I, I see what you're saying yeah because i'm like because to me i'm seeing it the way they are it's like a black and white term i'm like that's stupid why why would you purposely cut yourself off from a gaming experience because you're loyal to a piece of plastic it boggles the mind <laughs> you know what i'm it, saying it's more it's more blind loyalty it's more that they they they're they don't they don't see and they don't want to see anything besides the other thing so then what do they do they want to complain about how they don't they're not able to get this game on there and then start to demonize people because oh demonize certain, certain things because they can't get it it's like well why don't you if you if you consider yourself a gamer why not invest yeah you're right 